Hey, just imagine if this was your car, if this what is what you woke up to this morning after you parked your car in front of your house. It was a big headache for a lot of people. The damage, police say, a suspected DUI driver crashed into all of these cars. And one person who was there says he's actually grateful that these cars were here because they are essentially like a barrier, a shield. He says they saved him and several other people from being hit. NBC4's Lauren Coronado is live in Fullerton with this story. Hi, Lauren. Lynette, Adrian, good morning. That person you're talking about, that witness, he was actually setting up a taco stand right along Chapman, right behind me here, when that car rammed into the row of vehicles here. I want to show you there's some debris left behind. It was quite the mess. This happened a little bit closer to 1140 last night, but I want to show you just how close those workers were to Chapman. You can see this is Chapman right across the street is Fullerton College, by the way, just so you have an idea of where we're at. This is one of the vehicles that was involved. It's hard to tell, but it's actually at a slant right now because on the other side where the road is, part of the tire was ripped from the vehicle, and it wasn't the only SUV hit. Check out this badly damaged Audi, part of the bumper hanging from that SUV, and it looks like it was pushed into that taco bar catering work van, which we're told was also hit. Diego Morales says he was setting up the taco stand again around 11.40 last night, right across the street from Fullerton College near the intersection of Chapman and Lemon Street. He says the driver in a Camaro came speeding down Chapman. The driver hit at least three vehicles, damaged his own car, and managed to keep driving. Came in flying, I don't know, probably like 80 miles per hour. He's smashing every single car you see in the street right here. Hit the G-Wagon, uh, an Audi, and, and, our, and our work van. If that car wasn't there, it would have been flying up here and killed all of us here because we're all standing right here. Such a close call, and Fullerton police tell us it looks like the driver was headed home because they tracked him down about a mile from the crash, heading in the direction of his home. And check out the car he was in the front and passenger side, smashed the tire, gone. After a couple DUI tests, the man was arrested on suspicion of a DUI. Back out here live, a lot of folks are going to have to deal with some repairs. The good news is no one was inside any of the vehicles at the time of the crash. That's what the witness told folks. So that's the silver lining here. But of course, there is still a lot of damage to be repaired. Reporting live here in Fullerton, I'm Lauren Coronado for Today in L.A.